So this question looks like a translate word problem question. I say that um, really from the beginning here because it's it's a long question. Any question that's four or more lines long, I'm going to approach using the translate word problem strategy, which really just says, you know, read actively. Don't read the entire thing all at once and then hope that you remember the important details. Actually go ahead and write those things down. Translate those things. Transfer those things from the from the question onto the page. So the average annual energy cost for a certain home is $4,334. So I'm going to just write uh, energy, average energy cost equals $4,334. The homeowner plans to spend $25,000 to install a geothermal heating center uh, system. So I'm going to just say geothermal equals 25,000. Next sentence says the homeowner estimates that the average annual energy cost will then be $2,712. So I'm going to go back and say this is the old average energy cost and then the new average energy cost right after you spend the money on the geothermal system that cost will go down to $2,712. Which of the following inequalities can be solved to find T, the number of years after installation at which the total amount of energy cost savings will exceed the in installation cost? If I translate that question, it's saying energy, when does this happen? Energy cost savings greater than $25,000. Right? Like that's the translation. So how do we find the energy cost savings? Well, the old cost was 4334. The new cost is 2712. And that's per year, right? So the savings is how much are you saving by only paying 2712 instead of 4334? Well, that's just the difference of the two. Right? So 4334 minus 2712. But we have to keep in mind that that's just for a single year. So if I put this in parentheses, and multiply it by t, this t now serves the function of saying, hey, well, if t is one, or if we only have one year that we're thinking about, then yeah, it's just the difference of these two values. But if t is two, then it's the difference of those two values times two or times three if it's three years, times 10 if it's 10 years. So we want that value times the time or the number of years to be greater than 25,000. And we find that in choice B here. So choice B is the best answer to this question.